What's up you guys, this is Monsel with Nutripedia and today we're gonna talk about the Aura Ring, which is a wearable tracking device. I've been using it for a few weeks now. I've got a review for you and I'm gonna make sure to include plenty of scientific evidence about my conclusions. So guys, wait till the end of this video and I'll give you a few of my conclusions and a freebie as well. I wanted to tell you about what has been called the one ring to rule them all. Now, besides the Lord of the Ring reference, I have to say I love the Aura Ring, but I don't know if I would go that far. It does have a few flaws, so let's get into it. So the Aura Ring tracks a number of different biomarkers, but the way I break it down is the Aura Ring helps me to optimize sleep, stress, and movement. Now for the sleep side of things, the Aura Ring is unparalleled. There are few tracking devices, whether wearable or non-wearable, that are as accurate as the Aura Ring. For stress, it is as well one of the most accurate and useful tools for tracking stress. Movement is okay. It's nothing really special right now, and I don't think that it's any better or worse than a Fitbit or another uh, tracking device that tracks steps, for example. But again, for most people watching this video, the movement piece isn't the most important. So guys, when it comes to sleep, Humans are bi or polyphasic, mean, meaning that we usually sleep in increments throughout the day as opposed to what we do commonly in the West now, which is sleep all at once at night. Now because of that, our sleep is messed up. We have artificial lighting, we have technology that screws up our sleep, and one of the best ways to see this is with some type of sleep tracking device. Device. Now when people are taking nootropics that come to me asking about nootropics, many times what they're looking for is stimulatory in nature. Most of us have experience with caffeine, for example, which is a stimulant to help with wakefulness. One of the most popular nootropics on the market is modafinil, which was actually invented as a narcolepsy drug for people who had trouble sleeping and who needed to be alert the next day. So of course the Aura Ring doesn't solve this problem of sleep, but it does give us the most accurate data that we can use to solve our own sleep problems. So guys, a Stanford Research Institute independent study of about 41 subjects compared the Aura Ring with the standard sleep study, which is a polysomnography test, PSG test. They compared the Aura Ring with a PSG test and found that the sleep duration, duration was 96% accurate and comparing that to the REM sleep accuracy about 61% it is one of the best wearable devices in its class especially if you consider how much it takes to go in to take a sleep study and how much money you have to pay to do that routinely the aura ring does it every single night it gives you immediate feedback and like I said according to the independent uh, Stanford Research Institute it is a very accurate device when it comes to sleep tracking so guys when it comes to neutral I use the Aura Ring to track two different things. One is, when I take a stimulant, does it affect my sleep the next night? So for example, if I take caffeine too late in the day, it might help me to improve my focus and concentration that day, but it affects my sleep later on. Now the second reason I find this sleep tracking useful is because it can help me to improve the quality of my sleep. Maybe I take melatonin or lemon balm, for example. Sometimes I've even tracked with simply eating complex carbs like rice or potatoes later in the evening, and I found that that does improve my sleep as as well. So guys, moving on to the stress component of the Aura Ring. The ring 
takes HRV, heart rate variability data, and it takes body temperature data throughout the night. So it gives you a clear reading of what your stress levels are like. They call it a readiness score. I take it as what is my stress looking like and how can I change things to improve my stress levels. Now this is key for anybody taking nootropics, anybody who is a high performer. And the reason is when we are in a sympathetic state, we're really focused focused, we're really on top of our game, then that creates a lot of stress in the sympathetic nervous system. It's overstimulated and that shows up in our heart rate variability. So when I'm taking caffeine too often, doing too much work, too much stimulation, then I can see the results on the HRV and I know that I need to back off, maybe take a day off, cycle some nootropics, take some adaptogens and bring down that uh, stress level. Now the temperature data is useful for a number of reasons as well that are related to stress. Now first of all, temperature can actually show illness and a reduced immune system. So if you check the temperature deviation on a daily basis, you can see where you're starting to get sick. Also as a side note for our female listeners, my girlfriend uses the Aura Ring every morning because it gives her the temperature readings and she uses her app to actually monitor her, her ovulation and her cycle. So she can notice when she's in a certain part of the cycle based on a temperature spike that goes on throughout the month. So guys, the final component to the Aura Ring that I like is the movement component. And I've found that it is just as accurate as a Fitbit or many of the other uh, pedometers that track steps, that track jogging, and that's great. However, I uh, find that it's not as useful because I work at a standing desk and it'd be nice to have some type of uh, data or some type of calculation that shows that I'm still burning more calories by standing engaged as opposed to sitting. Uh, I also find it uh, sad that it doesn't track some of the high intensity activity but I don't think that there's many trackers that do that either except maybe some Garmin units. But the point is the Aura Ring for movement is no better or no worse than some of the other devices that I've used. And you can actually add in different exercises. So when I am looking at the Aura app on my phone, I can add in a workout that I've done, strength training, how long it was, and how intense it was as well. So guys, the million dollar question, is the Aura Ring worth it? I know that's what you've been looking for. My answer would be yes. It is the most accurate device that I have found on the market. I've been going through many different devices, which I'll tell you about in a second, but of all the devices, this is the most accurate for the cost. So you can do a sleep study, you can go out and get some of the most expensive equipment that you can find, and honestly, I don't think it's gonna be that much better. So this is a super simple way to constantly have this biofeedback. The battery life of the Aura Ring is a couple days, so you will have to charge it every once in a while, but I found it's actually good to do this because you give your finger a break where it doesn't have this ring on it. Now, because I have sweaty hands, sometimes the ring gets irritating on the finger. Uh, not that often, but it's nice to have a couple hours while it's charging that it's not on my finger so my skin can breathe, for example. So guys, even though you have to charge it up every couple days and it is a little bit more pricey than some of the other units right now, it is the most accurate device you're gonna get and it tracks so much more data than the other devices. You get sleep data, you get HRV data, temperature data, and you get a movement score as well. So it is very, very robust and it just fits on a finger. It's super simple, whereas there are so many other devices that are problematic. Now, for me, I used to track sleep with an S Plus sleep solution uh, monitor, which required that I sync it up with Bluetooth every every night and I had to set it up next to my bed and it was big so I couldn't travel with it very well 
and I had an HRV monitor, which was fine, but I had to use it at the same time every day. I had to be very regimented about it. I had to also take up a little bit more space when I traveled if I wanted to use this. And so this was a huge uh, turnoff for me when it came to tracking consistently. But the Aura Ring does all of that consistently for you. So that's it, guys. Uh, when it comes to biohacking, Dave Asprey is using the ring. Ben Greenfield's using the ring. I love the ring, getting it for uh, a lot of different feedback that I can use with nootropics, improving my cognitive performance and my physical performance. I've had a chance to speak with some of the guys that are running Aura Ring. They had a successful Kickstarter campaign. These are many of the people that actually used to work with Polar, and Polar was probably one of the most advanced brands for tracking devices. So they're making a awesome product, their team is really great, and they have offered a discount to Neutropedia subscribers. If you use the code Neutropedia, N-O-O-T-R-O-P-E-D-I-A, you get 10% off your Aura Ring. Go ahead, check out the full review right here. Like I said, you'll get your discount. You'll have more of the data right here, so you can check it out, and I'll see you guys next time.